NuGet packages are extremely useful if you want to share code with other developers or simply share code with yourself across multiple projects and solutions. Recently I created a video on how to create a password box that supports MVVM binding in WPF and I decided that this would be really useful to publish as a NuGet package so I could use it in pretty much all my projects that require authentication and so that other developers could use it without having to reinvent the wheel. So what we're going to do is move this password box component to its own project, pack that project into a NuGet package, and upload it to the NuGet gallery. So let's go ahead and add a new project. And this is going to be a WPF user control library. So this is a great project template here. It gives you support for WPF, but it doesn't scaffold out all the application stuff, which is great for our case because we just want a library. So let's create that, and I'm just going to name this password box MVVM. Create that. Perfect, let's delete this template user control in here. And let's move our password box component into this new project. And we can also delete it from our example project. Perfect, so now we have the code that we want to reuse into its own project. And one last thing I want to do is rename this namespace to password box MVVM. And I guess clean up this file a little bit, get rid of unnecessary usings, and get rid of this placeholder summary right here. So before we pack this project into a NuGet package, we first need to add some metadata to our project file that's going to be used inside the NuGet package and is going to be very important for when we publish this to the NuGet gallery. So there's two ways we can do this. First, we can right click our project, go to properties and go to package and we can fill out all of these metadata fields. But another thing we can do is go to our project file and just edit the project file and we can place the metadata inside here via some tags. And the properties approach is pretty straightforward, so I think I'm actually going to show how to do it inside of these tags. So the first tag we want to set, and arguably the most important, is the package ID. And this needs to be unique across all NuGet packages on the NuGet gallery. And by default, it's also used as the display name for the NuGet package. So in our case, we're going to name this password box MVVM. Another important tag is the authors. In this case, it's just me, Singleton Sean. We can also add a description, so we'll say a password box that allows binding. You can also add some tags if you want, so we'll just add a few here. There's also some URL tags we can add for additional information, so one of those is package project URL. In most cases you would point this to say some kind of documentation page or the landing page for the package, but we don't have one of those, so we're just going to paste in the git repository link. And speaking of the repository link, we can also set a repository URL, which will be the same link. And along with that, we can have a repository type, in our case, just git. Another thing you can do is include symbols, which we can set the true. And this will output a symbols package along with our NuGet package. And that's useful for debugging. And we can also push that symbols package along with our NuGet package to the NuGet gallery. So then along with this tag, we need to set a symbol package format. And we'll just set that to symbols NuGet package, which is S-N-U-P-K-G. I know there's a way that people actually pronounce this, maybe like snubkcha? I don't know, maybe not. I shouldn't have even tried. Anyways, this is all the metadata that we're going to add. So if we go back to our properties, as you can see, it has filled out all of these fields. So it really doesn't matter whether you do it through here or through your CS project. But again, it doesn't actually have these fields in the UI version, so maybe it's more useful to go with this way. Anyways, now that we have our metadata, we're ready to pack this. So there's multiple ways you can do this. You can do it through this package manager console down here, or you can do it through the .NET CLI. And in our case, we are gonna be using the .NET CLI. So go ahead and open up your favorite terminal. Go ahead and navigate to the directory that contains your CS project for your NuGet package. And most importantly, make sure you have the .NET CLI installed. So just do a .NET and you should get this to pop up. So to pack this into a NuGet package, all we have to do is .NET pack. And here we go, packing. And it outputs it to this directory. So let's go ahead and open that in Folder Explorer. Here we go. Here is our NuGet package. Here is our symbols as well that we asked for. And it names these files with our package ID and it appends the version. So our version is 1.0.0. .0 .0 which we set right here. So if you want to change the version, you can do it right here, or you can do it from the command line. So you can do .NET pack, 
and pass in a version with dash p package version and I've actually already published this package to NuGet and the current version I published is 1.0.2 I think so I want to set my version as 1.0.3 and that's another thing once you push a version to NuGet you can't overwrite that version you can't delete that version it's up there it's staying up there forever so you're just gonna have to increase the version on your next push so let's pack that and look at our folder explorer there we go we got our 1.0.3 let me delete this old one. And now I'm ready to push this to NuGet. So open up a browser and go to NuGet.org. Go ahead and sign in or create an account if you don't have one already. And we can click this upload tab. And you can actually just drag and drop your NuGet package and your symbols package into this little field right here. But I'm actually going to show off how to upload a package from the command line. So back in our terminal, we can use .NET NuGet push. And we need to specify the package that we want to push. And that's located in the bin folder such debug and it's named password box mvvm dot nuget package and we also need to specify where we're pushing this to with the dash s flag and we're pushing this to the nuget gallery of course there's multiple package repositories out there in the world there's like private repositories as well it's not like the nuget gallery is the only place where nuget packages can be pushed so we need to actually say that we are pushing it to NuGet. And I'll leave this link in the description as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and push this. And as you can see, we get no API key provided. We are unauthorized. And obviously that makes sense because how else would it know to push this to my account? So what we need to do is go to this drop down, go to API keys, and we're gonna create a key. And we're gonna name this key password box and we have to set an expiration date. The max is 365 days. I'm going to go with that. Package owner, obviously myself. And we're going to allow this key to push new packages and updated packages. And we're going to allow this key to manage any package by setting our glob pattern as star. Let's go ahead and create that key. Here we go. We can copy this. Make sure that you copy it and store it in a safe place because you're never going to be able to copy it again. All right, so now back in our terminal, we can run that command again, but this time we're going to pass in our key, paste that. There we go. Let's run this command. And our package has been pushed. And by default, it automatically pushes our symbols package as well because our symbols package was in the same directory as our NuGet package. So that's nice. And now let's go back to NuGet. Let's go to manage packages, publish packages. Here we go. Let's select our package and we have this 1.0.3 currently validating. It takes a bit, so give it some time to validate. And this is also me being a moron earlier and accidentally pushing a version 2.0.0. Again, be careful because you cannot delete packages, but you can unlist them so they don't actually pop up. So if you search for this package on Visual Studio, it's only gonna show 1.0.3. All right, so I believe my NuGet package has been published. So I'm gonna go into this MVVM example project right here and I'm gonna manage the NuGet packages and we're gonna search for password box MVVM which we just published as you can see version 1.0.3 let's install that there we go so we can close that out and I'm gonna go into my view where I actually use the password box and here it is down here and we're getting an error right now because I need to update this components namespace so the easiest way to do that is I'm just gonna come back down here do a control dot and add the namespace and if we go up to that namespace, as you can see, it's pointing to our password box MVVM package. And to prove that, I can go to my dependencies and go to packages. We are pointing the password box MVVM. We are not pointing to this project right here. This is not coming from a project reference. It's from our NuGet package. And test out this password box. And there we go. It does bind the password correctly. And another thing I want to point out down here is that it did load the symbols for our password box MVVM DLL since we included a symbols package with our NuGet package. And one last thing I want to point out, when we pack this project, we actually did it as the debug configuration. And the NuGet package should really be published as a release configuration. So to do that, do .NET pack, and we can pass in the configuration as release. This time it builds it with the release configuration. Anyways, that is how to create and publish a NuGet package. 
So just move all of your NuGet package code into its own project, pack it with .NET pack, and then simply publish it with .NET NuGet push. And then you can share the code with other developers or with yourself in other projects. Anyways, if you have any questions, criticisms, or concerns, be sure to leave them below in the comment section. But other than that, leave a like or subscribe for more. Thank you.